Welcome Aries, I'm Brenda, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and your Oracle reading for the week of June the 24th to July 1st, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. When you subscribe, please hit the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are produced on open air for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Aries on the planet. But if some of it resonates, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and any answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you right to the website where you can see the services that I offer. The other information is below. You can email me if you're not sure how to do that. Okay, my beautiful Aries, let's see what we have for the week of June the 24th. Well, you're all over energy. Aries is strength. So this is telling me that you may be up uh, you know, against a little bit of uh, opposition this week. You may be running into some difficult situations that have to do with communicating with others. And you'll have to look at situations all around in a fair manner. In other words, you're going to take everybody's, um, you know, uh, motives into consideration before you jump to conclusions about certain things that you're discussing and communicating with them. This is about inner strength. This is all about knowing that you're going to attract more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. So Aries, you're diplomatic. You have that ability to communicate well with people and to look at the whole picture before you step in. I want you to release any harsh judgments you may be harboring within yourself before you step up and make these communications with these people or individual that you need to. Often with this, with this strength card, we use the word forgiveness and compassion and that's stepping back looking at a situation either forgiving yourself for something or forgiving someone else it could be you issuing an apology or you accepting an apology but this is all over inner strength Aries so this week if you're dealing with anybody communicating with an individual or people other parties where you know they may be trying to ruffle your feathers and get you going and pull your strings and push your buttons don't let them do that because the beginning of the week you can't do any wrong. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, Aries. This is all about success coming into you. This is full circle here. This is all about finding things are working out in all directions, okay, for you. It's a time of positive change now. You're moving forward in a new direction. You've dealt with these issues, and now you're going to move forward in a new life, in a new direction on your path. I do see that a situation suddenly changes, okay, where, where you've been up to now, the energy is all of a sudden suddenly going to change, and bang, you're going in this new direction. It's almost like you're going to think that fortune's on your side. You're going to have the resources now to do what it is you want to do with your life. You're, and the reason for this is you're stepping up like the emperor. You're your own leader. You're your own person. You're your own boss. You're stepping up and you're realizing that through being organized and being logical and being structured and disciplined, you're going to have things happen for you. You're going to be able to move forward on your path. You're not going to miss anything that you need to absorb and you need to take in. You need to know, okay? So I do see that you're going to be moving forward on your path in a new direction. You've dealt with the issues where you've had to maintain your strength and your inner strength especially. And now this is you. You're the emperor. You, you're stepping up into your power Aries now. And now you're able to move forward. You know, you've had a lot on your plate. This is the ten of fire, better known as the ten of wands. And this is all about taking action and knowing that you're ready to take action and move forward. But there's been a lot on your plate Aries for a lot of, for some of you. And I do see that you need to accept help from others. You may be still struggling and pushing forward towards a goal, leaning into what it is you want. Uh, and you need to ask for help. Pick the brains of other people around you. T tap into the wisdom of those that you know have the knowledge that can set you up on your path to go in that direction you want to go, Aries. So if you push on your own, if you take all this load on your own, you're going to get out of balance, Aries. And often that can lead to stress-related health concerns. So... The, the cautionary here is, yes, you're going to keep pushing forward. That's who you are. You're determined. You're, 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 you're going to keep doing this because you're the emperor. But when the, when the load gets too heavy, know that you have others' knowledge and others' help to tap into and 
reach out for those resources, Aries, so that it'll things will fall in line much easier and smoother for you. Okay, let's see what we've got here, Aries, for the Lennerman deck, the additional information and energy messages that we can get. What is it that Aries needs to know for this week of June the 24th? Please let me know what he needs to have or she needs to have. And I need three cards here, please. I need three cards here for my Aries. And did you see what flipped over in my hand, everybody? That's it, the three cards. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Well, here we go. So the first thing is I do see you collaborating with others. I do see that you, um, you're you working your way up, up, up the labyrinth. It's taking time. Things have been moving slow. Uh, the momentum hasn't been going very quickly for you as of late, Aries. But you're still getting there and you know you know slow and steady wins the race so i want you to realize that you need to keep moving forward you need to keep you're on the right path okay you need to keep pushing forward aries and you will get to your goal you'll get to where it is you want to go because you know what you got the sun and it doesn't get much better than that things are improving things are getting better uh you know this is one of the best cards in the entire deck when it comes to uh positive energy and I do see that things are going to turn around for you. Things are going to improve for you. This is the beginning of that coming into you. You've stepped up. You're taking the power back. And you're moving forward. You know what? It's all a bit about been about, uh, it, you know, time ticking away. Time's been dragging on for some of you. But now you know what? Time is ticking again. And, and you'll get there. It's all about the perfect timing, Aries. And you'll get where you want to go in the perfect timing. So I do see it happening. I mean, not only did you get... The, the wheel of fortune but you got the star card as well you got the sun the star you know i i want to call this the, the star and the sun because to me it's both the star and the sun have the same almost the same meaning things are working out in your favor you can't you can't go wrong i mean you, you're illuminating your own path and you're the star on your own path as well let's see what we've got here my beautiful aries for your oracle goddess guidance deck and this is quiet time take some quiet time alone and rest and meditate now so this is about you stepping back you've been working really hard uh, towards a goal or you've been working really hard on a, on a in a phase in your life right now some of you may want to consider going on a retreat uh, listen more and talk less okay that's what quiet times all about avoid loud noise and sounds around you okay take yourself to the silence you need that you've had enough meditate surrender your mind uh, chatter to heaven know that you're more sensitive uh, when noise is around you so this is all about spending time on your own it's almost as though um, it's almost as though it's like the the hermit card where you you know in the traditional tarot where you need to take time you need to meditate you need to sit back now and think and surmise and plot and plan where it is you want to go okay now the final outcome card is your mystical wisdom deck and you got raise your standards this is the peacock and the peacock is such an amazing bird uh you know the peacock stands out um you know just an amazing in individual uh unique bird and this is about you too this is all about you standing out okay this is about you raising your standards now uh, where it is you're going what it is you want to do picking and choosing who's in your company now and only taking those of integrity that you want to be with you at this stage so it's basically very very easy you know it's all about uh you know uh characteristics of integrity and loyalty that has to do with this you know raising your standards so aries stand up you know you've got the sun and the star basically here on your side here the emperor standing up for who you are doing things the way you want them to happen slow and steady wins the race and you've got the wheel of fortune here i mean time's on your side but everything will work out with perfect perfect timing don't push too hard uh, or force anything at this point in time. Ask for help and know that you can raise your standards when you're moving forward. Spend that time on your own, okay? And think about where it is you truly want to go now. Stay strong. You've dealt with your issues. I do see things are working out here. I mean, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and this beautiful star card, this beautiful, beautiful star card in the sun. And I'm going to call it both because I really truly think, you know, I mean, it's just the most amazing card and the energy is the same from both of them. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy this week. Uh, you have things to do. I know that you're, you're stepping up. You're, you know, you're looking towards your future. You're leaning into your cups being filled and it's happening. It's going to happen. Just don't push too hard. And if there's a situation, <clears throat> don't force it. Okay. Don't force an issue. Uh, it'll all happen in perfect timing. 
Well, my beautiful, beautiful Aries, this is your reading for the week of June the 24th. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And I want you to remember the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So Aries, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your personal happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls. See you soon. And know that I stand only in this circle of love and light for you always. Thank you.